Hey, Subi. Yes, Kishot. What are you doing? You look very stressed. Yeah, I feel so, so stressed because I'm finding for a job but until now there is no a single response from them. So do you have any idea where I can apply to? Hey, why don't you try taking up other skills like uh, cooking or baking? You can even start your own online business. You mean about freelancing? Yeah. Wow, that's a great, great, great idea. Wait, wait, wait. Don't get too excited. We still need to know why most Malaysians are left unemployed. Yes. So the first two main reasons why Malaysians are being unemployed because about frictional. Frictional is about those fresh, it, it could be fresh graduates or um, employee who has well experienced in that particular field. They leave their job and then finding for a new job without knowing a reason or without knowing their preference. Where else? Whereas the next one is called structural, where employees who already have a job and uh, they feel like their job does not match their preferences where uh, they know a lot of things but their job only lets them do certain things and their salary does not increase. So what they do is while working these jobs, they tend to look for other jobs where they can show more of their knowledge and where they'll have a better pay. Yeah, but there are a lot of, there are a lot of problems, issues. Um, our fresh graduates or employee uh, working currently, they are facing up to. So uh, how do I or how do we overcome from this problem? Well, uh, why don't we look at the response given from our followers? Oh, yeah, sure. So uh, a lot of you guys gave your response and um, most of it, it sounds very similar. So what we did is uh, we took we narrowed it down and we took only the key points and uh, I'll read it out to you guys now. So uh, the first uh, response was given from uh, someone who wants to be anonymous and uh, they said that the Malaysian government doesn't invest much into other jobs and this is very true because uh, the government only invests on uh, certain fields which uh, makes us believe that you know only if we study these particular fields we'll have a, a better future and a better job so the, all the other fields they are you know they aren't uh, emphasized as much and not only the government even like our parents they tell us that you know only if you study um, engineering or law or a doctor only then you will have uh, a better future but there are so many other fields other than this you know there's a lot like uh, mass com there's art that's literature there's uh, graphic design so we should emphasize on all these other fields as well. But to be honest, uh, Kishore, when you compare to last generation and this generation, last generation, our parents, especially, they will advise us to be a doctor, lawyer, engineer. They only know that. But in this generation, surprisingly, our parents, outside their, their par our, most of our parents actually advising to their children, uh, you can become a accountant or you can become a filmmaker or even can become a broadcaster. It, can, it could be any field as per their preference. It's like a freedom to them, you know. So it's surprised. It's, it's really, I feel really happy about it. And thanks for the parents outside there. Yes, actually we feel like uh, there's been a lot of progress since the yeah. past years and hopefully we'll keep this going and hopefully the government will uh, emphasize on other fields as well. Yep, I hope so. Our government will support our parents' uh, preference too. And yep, keep rocking. So uh, shall we take a look at the uh, the second response? Yeah, sure. The second response from our friend is about graduates expect to be employed under their field of studies. Yes. Uh, how many of your friends do you know who uh, studied something particular, but they are now working in a field that has no, that is not related to what they studied yes. at all or even you might be experiencing the same thing. Yeah, uh, even me, when I was uh, about 21, 22, I was working in my first ever company. Uh, I was thinking that, no, I have studied for MassCom. Why am I working in this field right now? But I'm telling you guys, I studied for MassCom, but now currently I'm working as a logistic executive and purchaser doesn't mean that I'm wasting my time. Whatever I learned in my mass comm, in my field, in my previous field, I applied those uh, knowledge what I'm working right now. So for example, mass comm is all about communication. So I applied that knowledge, communication knowledge into my current work. At the same time, guys, 
I'm also being an actress, hosting and a directing a film. So MassCom is part of it and I, I'm happy about it. So I, even you guys can uh, explore more, uh, more fields outside there so that you will learn many, many things and you'll be very, you will feel very happy about it. Yes, yeah, so if you're someone who's still looking for a job or if you have like a particular job that you want, just hang in there, don't yeah. worry about it. And you know, if you want, you can always try something new and you know, get a new job. Yeah. And you know, who knows, you might end up liking it even more. Okay. So the third question is, wow, this is so, so interesting. Huh. Yes, uh, the last response was uh, given by someone named uh, Remo S. Raghavendra and uh, he said, um, sex. Yeah. Yep. Sex, um, yes, uh, also known as the uh, pornographic uh, industry is a, a very good um, industry actually you know there's um, a lot of uh, benefits like you know health benefits and you know good pay and you know it's uh, open for all both male and um, female um, yeah it seems like he has a good experience on that industry uh, so shall we wrap this up and um, Okay guys. Come to a conclusion. Yeah. Okay guys. Like what you should have told before. You guys uh, can explore yourself into more fields so that uh, you can you can become a somebody in future. So thanks for your support. I hope uh, this message uh, has been delivered to you and rock your day. All right. Thanks to everyone for your responses. We were glad to read them all and hopefully you will give us the same responses in the next video and the upcoming ones. Just keep the support going guys. So Subi, do you have anything else you want to add? No, I think for this session it's just enough. And guys, enjoy your day, rock your day. Until then, signing off from Kishot. Subi from, from Fudgy, Fudgy Talks, Talks brought to you by TQ Luxury, Luxury Desserts. Desserts. Ecstasy, Ecstasy in a Bite.